nossa training ground where we've just finished playing against their under 18s. Uh, how did you feel the game went tonight? I have to say, you know, from our point of view as coaching staff, we've got to be pleased with the you know the game plan was to, to, to sit off a little bit and invite them towards us and try and hit them in the counter attack. Um, into a man the boys did that and it was a hard shift for them. You know yep. the, the the Valencian team were were good at moving the ball quickly across the back. They like to switch the ball from from kind of right to left and left to right. Um, and we have to move with the ball when that happens. But they stuck to it and we got when we got a chance to go forward, we probably created more chances than what they did. Um, yeah. I mean, from your point of view, I, I'm assuming you know you, you were thinking the same or anything different. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I just came at the tail end of today and saw the tactical discussion before the game, the instructions that the players got, and I think they carried it out very well. All the instructions that were given to them, being disciplined, keeping their shape, uh, front man dropping in when he had to to to, to combat their deeper midfielder. Um, and I thought the boys, to a man, you know, they stuck to the plan, and it's a great. It looked to be to be a great learning experience for them, where they, they they learned to play against a very high standard team, a yeah. bit older than them, um, and also they managed to cope with that. You know? I think I think when we go to do our analysis tonight at the end of the, the, the obviously the evening, the boys will probably be surprised at the amount of chances we actually had in the game, and yeah. uh, although they feel a bit leggy and yeah. a bit as you know breathing pretty hard during the yeah. game. Um, they'll not realise probably that they've actually chances not only to have drawn the game but, yeah. but to have won it. Yeah. And I think from our point of view as well, what I was particularly pleased, pleased about, it, it can be difficult to make changes in a game of football of that intensity because the game was played quite quickly. Yeah. Um, but it didn't really disrupt the, no. you know, the, way, the way we went about our business. No. And all credit to the boys, you know, there's nine changes being made from half time through the second half, probably more than nine changes when you had the other couple of boys going on at the end. Um, but the, the discipline was still there, you know, they still stuck to the game yeah. plan. And you're right, the chances that they had. Yeah. Uh, they'll probably look back on and and particularly not to pick not to pick him out, but um, David Ramsey, the one two minutes to go, and David's a terrific game today. I thought yeah. um, playing the left hand side, then stepping back into the one off the front, a terrific game, a lot of effort, but good in the ball. He stretched him behind, and a chance that he'll look back on and get frustrated with himself, I'm sure. Um, but to have been in that position, good ball through from Stuart Hay as well. Yeah. Um, I, I was certainly pleased with it. But that at least we were able to make those opportunities uh, against that type of opposition. Yeah, and they, they should take a lot of belief from that. You know, that, that when they look at the analysis, they'll see that the times they actually got on the ball and passed it, yeah. that they could make things happen, and they were a problem for Valencia. Yeah. Um, were they everything you thought they were going to be? Yeah, from last year they played similar, I have to say, and, and we set up with that in mind. Um, we, we thought they would switch the ball quickly. We thought they would they'd be technically good in the ball. Um, we allowed that to happen and we were happy for the switches to, play, to take place and then we were looking then to go and press to that side and keep the ball to that side and like I say I thought the boys worked hard to make that make that happen um, they, they changed their team again at, you know, similar to ourselves albeit it was like one team one half one team the second half it did look like the second team was just that wee bit older yeah. um, and then once they got one up they took one or two back off again so I don't know if that was just a, you know, a way of trying to get, get themselves ahead but I, I have to be I'm not disappointed and I'm sure you're not either no. and I know the other guys will be the same so you know we take this on board it'll be a great learning curve for the players um, we'll take on to the final game on the 20th and, and you know that'll bring a, a great end to, to where you know the, the, the games programme have been but more importantly from my point of view and, and other staff that have been, been here before and those that have just joined us it's what happens in the training ground that allows what we see in the pitch yep. Yep. Um, and we have to be keep, keep at that yeah, and you could quite clearly see that today with the discipline and the shape, and and I think we mentioned earlier the fact that they'd played yesterday as well, yeah, and they'd done a bit of training this morning. You know how much they put into the game, 
uh, it was uh, quite encouraging to see. Absolutely. Yep. So we have just come today and the two guys have, have gone away today. Do you want to touch on the contribution of that? Uh, absolutely. I mean, obviously, uh, Paul McLean and, and Derek Carmichael will be here for the first week and we'll have a good amount of time on the pitch to train. Um, I know Derek probably likes a lot of game time. He's, <laughs> you know, he's, he's, he likes the game and yep. he likes you know, the, the, the competition. Yep. Um, but he's enjoyed his time on the pitch and I know that, you know, from my point of view, the, the input from Paul and, and Derek have been yep. um, valuable um, yep. for, for, for it allows us to be mm -hmm. in the position we're in and, and go and put ourselves against that type of position. Yep. Um, I know Derek will in, in, in particular will be disappointed not having been here tonight to, to, to go against yep. uh, Valencia um, but as I say I think it's very important to mention that these guys Paul and Dave, mm -hmm. Derek have been very very important for yep. the, the, the work and, and mm -hmm. the guys and I know it's appreciated from the players yep. in the dressing room as well. Yeah, I personally think it's as well Derek wasn't here because he might have tried to tackle a few players tonight uh, and that would have been a bad thing. Aye, aye. What yeah. still, he wanted to play. I'm sure he tried to tackle one or two of our players to make sure he got a game. So, um, no, it was it was great, and um, you know, he, whilst we want them to be here and, and be part of this, even though they're not here tonight, the, you know, everything that we've yep. done has very much been um, as a result of the work that we've all done together yep. to be where we are today. Nossa, assim você me mata